YouTube friends. I want more interaction in the community. I'm putting out all these videos and the feedback's great and the comments are great, but I want to see one of you guys out there play it. I want to see the fruits of, of my labor. I want to see you guys rec record. Someone record themselves playing the song or a song that I taught you guys and I'd love to see it and make me happy. And since you're not doing it, I'm going to have to bribe you. So the first person to learn this song I don't want to say better than me, but the first person to learn this song and really nail it, especially Major 5, ding, 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 blow my freaking brains out that part. If you can get that down and get this whole thing pretty smooth, the first one to do it and upload a video to YouTube to share, we'll get this. Now this is an original Cactus Cafe Towns Van Zandt poster. Um, I lived in Austin, Texas for a while, and I'm, I'm going to blank on his name, I feel bad. It's a guy who... The guy who ran it um, met Towns several times, and this is from one of his shows in 93, and the guy had an extra flyer, was talking to him, asking questions about Towns, having drinks with him, and at the end of the night he goes and back and he hands this to me. So it's awesome. It's an original, really cool, but honestly, like, I don't know, I'm not one for keepsakes, and it's all bended, bent, and I'm not, it's not even hanging up anywhere. And I know there's someone out there who would be thrilled to have this. So all you have to do is learn the song, upload it to YouTube, play it well, be the first one, and then I'll ship it to you. Just don't live anywhere crazy. I don't want to spend all, all sorts of money shipping this somewhere weird. Isn't that neat? Look, it. it's a great drawing too. All right, get to work. You got a lot of work to do. Get on it. You don't get the hat. I'm keeping the hat, okay? The hat's mine. My music method. Music method. Capo on the fifth fret, some simple chords, C, F, G. Let's do it. First measure, a very simple walk, third fret, sixth string, open fifth, second, third. Right off the bat, we already got some flight and fancy. So I will break that down into two halves. So we're just picking a C chord going from five to three. First hits alone. Then on the second one, I'm putting my pinky down on the high E string and I'm hitting these together. Third and first. And then you pull off that pinky. And then I'm hitting the second string with my index finger. So thumb, thumb and middle. Pull off, second alone. So that's the first half of that measure. And then you're going to hammer back on with the pinky on that second string. But it's a compound movement, so right when I hammer, my thumb's going back to that fifth string. So it's... After that on the end beat. And then the last two, the last beat is thumb on the third, and then I lift my pinky and do the first fret on the second string open. Sorry, it's tricky. <laughs> Just when you thought you couldn't do more on that C chord, it gets even crazier. That's it. So we have still a C chord, still the thumb going from five to three. We have fifth string and open on the first string at the same time. And then a melody note, immediately you put the pinky down. And then thumb alone. pinky down on the third fret there. Now this is tricky because now your pinky has to go up to do a pull off soon on the second string. And it's hard to not make a weird sound when you lift that pinky up. It's hard to 
to prep it. I'm, I was kind of like flubbing it a lot. So practice that really slow. Thumbs alone there, and then I'm gonna move it up right before I hit that melody note and pull off. When it's fast, it's really difficult, but that's the first half of that measure. Then I hit three and open again together, fifth and first string. And then my pinky's back down on the third fret of that second string. take care of when you're lifting that melody note, right? I'm lifting at the last second possible. Lift it right when I play that index finger. The tendency is to lift when you're going on a downbeat with a thumb, but then you either shorten a melody or get a weird little sound in there and it's not as smooth and fluid and sweet, sweetly, serenely as Towns does it. So let's put those two parts together. Or sorry, just that one measure, but, but both halves of it. chord and I thought we were going to have just a normal measure of F, but I listened more closely. I got a Q-tip, got the cotton out of my ears, and it's he's doing something crazy here even. So it's an F chord, right? Just a second string, one, two above it, three above it, thumb, playing that F in the bass. And we have, this is what's tricky that I didn't hear at first. It's sixth string, fourth, sixth, third. So the thumb does a little bit more than you'd think. Six, uh, third, sorry, six, fourth, sixth, third on that F chord we have thumb third string index thumb and then the melody on the second string so that's the first half that's it second half is puts his pinky down so six pinky down on the second string thumb on the third and then the pinky's lifted up for that another melody note on the second string second half, six, second string, third, second string, with that changing melody note from the pinky to the index. So that whole measure. <sighs> Promise you won't get mad at me. I'm gonna introduce this next measure and for the next six weeks of your life, it's going to drive you insane. So if you get manic and psychotic and psychopathic and didn't have thoughts of harming your loved ones, don't blame me. This is my disclaimer. I've warned you. This next measure will drive you insane. You've been warned. It's like that dumb movie about the tape when you can't watch the static on the screen. It was at the ring or something. And then you see it and you can never unsee it. Seriously, consider stopping the video now. All right, you've been warned. For you brave souls, let's do it. Yep, that's what he's doing. So the first half, we're still on this F chord. Six, third string index, thumb on the fourth, and then uh, middle finger on the top string with the pinky down. So that's pretty easy. Thumb and thumb and right thumb three thumb one with the pinky down and thumb alone here. So you did that first half, right? You got that. Here's where it's weird. Let's do the second half alone. Uh, I can't do it alone. It's too confusing. <laughs> we'll do it together. that thumb again and then right after I hit that thumb I'm pulling off to one and then to open I know that's hard so that's ringing I would practice that first so while you're holding down that F chord you have to get play that pinky then my first finger is gonna drop down from the second string to the first string and I'm pulling off with my pinky and then I'm pulling off with my first finger so it's a double pull-off, right? You're only picking it once. 
I know it sounds nuts, but if anyone else can listen to the recording and come up with something different, but I've listened a hundred times and I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. So that's what's happening. Again, practice that a lot. That's really hard. Now, when you do a pull-off, a lot of people just think like, like you're lifting like straight towards the camera, but that is not the case, right? This is a very weak pull-off, right? I'm pulling off and that's what it's called. So the, it's called a pull-off. So why don't you just pull off it? But you don't, you actually think of like a bow and arrow. I don't really, I'm ter I don't know how to shoot a bow and arrow, but you want to pull back on the string to, to, to get it to release, right? So what you're doing, it, I mean, the way, think of the, the, you're gonna pull your tension. You can't pull back like a bow and arrow, but you're gonna pull down. So I'm really gonna exaggerate. I pull down, I mean, I'm bending it, I'm exaggerating, but then it shoots back, right? So that's like that bow and arrow idea, right? You can get a really nasty pull off by yanking on it, but that's where it comes from. That's how, so this is me just lifting, right? Which is what a, pot, a lot of people think of a pull off as you're just lifting up. But that's really flimsy, especially if you have to do two in a row. You're not gonna get that much. So I'm yanking down, right? It's just a quick pulling down off of the string. Now that's easy alone, at least for me, but it's very hard in the context of holding down the thumb, this note, that note, and then also moving the first finger in the middle of it. So I would just practice that. Well, you've got that chord down. So let's break that measure down a little bit more. You've got that part. Six, three, four, one. Thumb alone, back on six. And I do that double pull off. Sorry. on the third string now because we're still skipping down to the third and then I'm putting my first finger down on the first fret of the first string and so I'm doing third string and first string together one and two and then I lift the first finger and play that melody on the E string Let me give you what we've done so far here. Ooh, but this G chord is real pretty. So we have a regular G, six, four, six, three. That's the only tricky part about it. That extra thumb going to the third string instead of the fourth. We have first melody note is pinky on the E string. Six, one, four, open on two. Second half is um, six and one together, but now I'm playing the first fret, like a G7 chord. And my pinky goes down on the second string. That's the first part, six and one. Then the second string with the pinky down on the third fret. Thumb on the third. And then melody note is open on the second string. Again, take note of when you're lifting and changing the melody notes. You want them to sing as long as you can. So that entire measure. One more time. Stay on the G, similar idea. Six, four, six, three. First half of that measure is six, melody on the third, thumb on the fourth, melody on the second. All open up there, right? Just that third fret G. Second half is. So six string, and then my melody notes, third fret.
fret for the second string of my pinky, thumb on the third, first fret on the second string. There a few more measures, almost there a few more measures. Here we move to a C chord. Uh, it's just right back and forth between five and three, like before. Alone. Then we have three and one together, both open. And then five with two, but your pinky goes down. And then lift the pinky and play that melody alone on the second string. So five, three, and one. Five and two with the pinky down. Lift that to go to the first fret and then play the thumb alone. So it's pretty easy because the first half is just that, right? One, two, pretty easy. And the second half is with the pinky down. Three and four, three and four, three and three on five and two. First fret is a melody note alone, second string, thumb alone on the third. That same idea, six, four, six, three. So it's um, thumb, melody note on the third string, and then melody note on the second. Thumb, third, thumb, second. Then the, so that's the first F, one and two and, and then it's just six string, second string with my pinky down on the third fret. everyone go get Robitussin from their medicine cabinets. That's where I'm at. I've had a half a bottle already. Feeling pretty good. Never do that. That's what this song's about. So supposedly Delta Mama Blues is about how Towns Van Zant used to robo trip. That's what the cool kids call it now. Never do this. You're gonna kill yourself. It's drinking a whole bunch of Robitussin or NyQuil and some people don't wake up. So just, you know, have a Heineken light. They don't sponsor me, but have one of these. It's enjoyable. One drink limit. One drink a night. That's all you need. Get high on life. Get high on life. Don't tro robo trip, kids. It's not worth it. You don't want to die. Trust me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Well done. So Town says that the song is called Delta Mama Blues because DM, it's Robitussin DM. So he turned his favorite drug of choice into a song called Delta Mama Blues. I don't know if it was his drug of choice. He probably was just cheap as hell and ran out of beer one night and decided to drink his cough medicine. Don't do it. Look, I even wear props for you guys. Ha <laughs> ha 